So we did get consumer price index as well as the producer price index yesterday and then today. And unfortunately the numbers weren't exactly what we were looking for. So the bond markets had a rough couple days, which of course is not good for interest rates immediately, but I am expecting to see these inflation numbers improve because you know, rent and rent equivalents are what determine the shelter component, which is damn near half a CPI. And we know that in real time, the rate that rents are rising has come down quite a bit. So it's really just a matter of time before these reports start to uh, reflect this and we see inflation improve. And with higher inflation comes lower savings and increased credit card usage. So congrats, America. We officially have over a trillion dollars in credit card debt. Um, and this is something that you really want to talk to your clients about, you know, Selling their home and using equity to pay off all their debt could help them buy a home that fits their family while actually keeping their overall monthly expenses down. So just let me know if you'd like to learn about blended rates. <clears throat> um, if you have clients who have built up debt, doing a cash out refi to get their credit scores up before they sell and then buy their next place or you know, until they're able to do a, a rate and term refinance to get their payment down, could actually make a lot of sense right now. So that's something you wanna be in tune with. Um, home prices are up, of course, which means that homeowners are seeing almost record levels of equity and with affordability down, over 80% of Americans say that now is not a good time to buy. So if you're a realtor and could use some graphics or statistics to explain why it is, I'm happy to help and just reach out. Um, jobless claims, you know, basically people that are filing for unemployment still seems to be relatively low, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense with all the news about companies making major layoffs. So hopefully we'll start to see that come to an end soon because, you know, that's basically what the Fed's been pointing to as a sign that the economy is strong. And that's, you know, the reason or something that they cite when trying to decide if they're going to continue rate hikes or not. Next week, we're going to get builder confidence in, as well as retail sales and housing starts uh, along with the Fed minutes. So I'll talk to you then. Have a great weekend.